fashion the way he started his career at NFA as a head coach, vying for an ECC championship. So a lot on the line tonight for Juice. And for East Lyme, a lot on the line as well. Jeff Bernardi has worked this group, and I do mean worked this group, to get here in this game for the chance at the same title. Yeah, you know, we, we, we had this game not that long ago. Uh, we saw East Lyme really, really struggle with NFA back on March 9th. Lost by... Uh, you know, 20 points, or it, sure. turned, it turned out yeah. to be 12 or whatever it is, but it, it was not a close game, and, and they're going to have to see what, what they learned from that. Yeah, learn from your mistakes and move on. You talk about the losses. Both these teams have three losses. The one the one number that jumps out of you, NFA's three losses by a combined total of eight points. East Lime's three losses by a combined total of 57. Yeah, I mean, really what it comes down to is East Lime, when they have not played well, have really not, you know, not been able to make much of anything. Uh, NFA, pretty much they couldn't get by New London and Ledger, who were kind of similar. Right. Uh, it, matchups, bad matchups for them. And so I think this is a very good matchup. And uh, Jeff Bernardi bringing out his... Uh, his best attire, yeah. Well, you know, and it's funny you say that. Uh, that uh, He had told me before the game that this was his way of... Uh, Showing respect to Chris Juicy. Yeah, paying homage. You know, Chris Juicy is the best dressed guy in the league, and he goes, you know what? This is his last game. He, mm, he, yeah, deserve, he's, he deserves me he's to be wearing the polo shirt and the, and the khakis all year long. But yeah, the one thing Jeff and I did talk about before the game is he mentioned the number five, um, five three pointers or more. His team will have to connect on tonight to be in the game and have a chance to win. If they don't make at least five three-pointers, Casey, he said, we will struggle on the offensive end. Well, that puts it on the on the heels or the, the hands of Riley Walsh. The junior guard is really their best chance at three-pointers. And uh, after last game yeah. where he knocked a couple down and Juice, Juice was, called time furious, out. He was furious. Yeah. He, he's one guy, one guy. Can't lose him. And so that, I think tonight you're going to see more of a concerted effort to get on Riley Walsh. So, so we've got a lot of guys who are sharply dressed in his gym tonight. We'll get to that during the game as all well. The, all is an homage to Chris Juicy, so we'll talk about, about that, and we'll have tip-off after the National Anthem. Fired up East Lime squad. They're ready to go. They are the higher seed, which is why we're here at East Lime, because even though they're in, they're 9-3, and three, NFA only 8-3. and three. So even though NFA beat East Lime in their lone matchup, the extra win yep. East Lime got propelled them to the two seed. And here we are at East Lime. Always, always a pleasure to come here into the Viking land, right? Viking Valley. Viking Valley, yeah. We delivered pizzas here a few years ago. Instead, uh, we've got a crowd. You can't see them currently, but behind us we've got... Uh, we got Sasquatch and uh, yep. we got the Mother Teresa. Yeah. Got a kid, kid, got a kitty cat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Look, there's our crowd right behind Stars us. Stars are out. So who's that football player there too? If I told you what year he played, you could probably yeah, tell yeah, me the Heisman Trophy winner. <laughs> so Marshall Gaeta will jump it up for East Lyme. Oh, 78 Earl Campbell. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and hey, this will be a, this is going to be a fun basketball game. We've talked about this styles determined fights. Let's see if NFA can learn something for that NFA style they saw the first time around. Pierre Louis will jump it up in the visiting red. Gata in the home white. Good officials tonight. And Pierre Louis wins the tip. Tyler Spruill will set it up. Boy, Spruill's played well down the stretch of the season, too. It's really helped. Chris Juicy solidified that point guard position. Well, good hands by Anglin and 
Walsh. They're going to get a tie-up as Outlow drove to the basket and Walsh did a nice job getting his hands involved. I think the key to the night's game for me is uh, the guy with the basketball in his hands right now, Matt Malakas. I think he does a lot of great things. If he can get to the basket, makes them a better team. Concerted effort to get Gay to the ball, pulls up, knocks it down. Good look, good ball movement, extra pass, catch and shoot situation. Talk about player of the year, possible candidate. How about Marshall Gaeta for two? Well, you know, we, we didn't see him do that in the first game. He wasn't able to take the shot. Spruill lost it off his foot, and East Lyme fired up. Game one, Gaeta really didn't step away from the basket a whole lot. He's going to have to against that size of NFA. Yep. He's going to have to get out about 10, 15 feet. Turn, face, knock it down, exactly. Good hands. Nice touch pass back, dump down to Gaeta. He's getting bumped. Malakas, pump fake, no good. East line though, making an effort to crack the middle of that zone. Again, what, like, you know, what did they learn? We'll find out. Pierre-Louis passes underneath the sprule. Nothing there. Coach Bernardi Check, very happy working. with Yeah, he is clapping. They are working. He wants max effort. Look at him getting down yeah, in the stance he's himself. Here. He's down. He's ready there. Definitely, he wants max effort. Martin. Little Euro extra step oh, and yeah. Velakis with a rebound. Three ball. Carpenteri, no good. Long rebound comes down to Walsh. Gate at the foul line. No good. Tipped. Loose. Walsh. Uh, hustle plays East Lime. Banging and grinding. Juice not happy. Dump down. Gaeta finds a cutting Carpenteri. Good probably luck. could have put it, probably could have put it to the floor. But that's the best looks they've had against Good that luck. zone. Good looks. Let's see Carpenteri gather and settle a little bit. Had plenty of time. Right now the pace very much favors East Lime. NFA without a quality shot. Yeah, Coach yeah, Houston, just, just right. time out. Without a quality shot. Well, he was trying. He was trying to get Grover Boone, who's normally the starting point guard, back in the, into, into the game. Right. He's trying to get Joe Click into the game. I think they wanted. He wanted the energy of Click in right away. Yep. So I think the 30-second timeout is as much to get them in the game as anything else. Francis pulled up a little lame on that too. He put, he's off on the side, getting a little attention on his left knee. So Juice, looking at his offense, kind of stuck in quicksand, calls a quick timeout. You know, talking to him before the game as, last, last night, as we sort of harken back and put one more touch on the last night's game. Uh, he said that he voted Woodstock Academy as one of the three mm. hardest gyms in the state to go play in. He said they would have done really well in the South when you had to go there. Sure. Because that he said that's a really tough place to play. Yeah, community gets behind them and, you know, the, the fans get into it. You know, uh, a good basketball team. Peter Wappy equated it to when we did Valley football. Yeah, he said, he said it's a hill. regional skill yeah. school. Everyone turns out. It's sure. kind of like the thing to do. I, yeah. I, it's a great environment. So Click is back into the ball game, and Outlaw will have a seat. Also into the game is Boone, who touches the basketball now. Anglin and working hard. I'm sorry, Casey, on, on Martin over there. Just face guard him every single chance he can get, denying him the basketball. Long law back out to Boone, and if you told Chris Juicy he'd go three minutes without scoring a basket, he might be a little concerned. Martin pulls up in Anglin's face, can't get it. Look at a great rebound position by Gaeta. You got the under in this one. Yeah, well, the under might have been 40 anyway. Gaeta calling for the basketball, I like that. Clapping his hands, wants it. Step in on almost a steal from Boone instead. Gata ends up with it. East Lime will reset. Gata wants it. 
tough, tough defense. Pass. Tough defense here by the Wildcats. Good hustle by Velakis, though. See, Gator's finding the soft spot. He's waiting for the pass. He's working. There it is. Turn, face up. Bank shot is good. Yep. Textbook. Get your spot, turn around, pop from 10 feet. Use the glass, use whatever you got to. It's a championship game. Don't apologize for nothing. Double team, now Boone picks it out to Sproul. Pierre Louis is going to lose it on, out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover. Fired up East Lime side of things. Mask break. We're going to have a mask break, and so we'll take our first break for nothing. East Lime, you're watching Game Day Live on the day.com. Game Day is a production of The Day Publishing Company. If you'd like to support Game Day and help us continue to bring you the best in Connecticut high school sports, please consider purchasing a print or digital subscription to The Day at theday.com slash subscribe. So as always, we want you at home to let us know where are you watching the game. Send us a photo on Facebook or Twitter because you know what sports thought there? We want to know who has the best virtual fan section out there. Mm -hmm. Send us a photo on Facebook or Twitter at Game Day CT, and we're going to include you in the broadcast. You know, Casey, Jeff Bernardi's right-hand man the last few years is that guy right there, Bill Bernard, retiring tonight after 38 years in the business. You know, Bill coached at Wheeler High School. He coached at, you know, at Westbrook, and he's... He's, he's a tremendous asset to the kids. He's been doing it a long time. I believe he's going overseas next year to coach in Ireland. So, you know, hats off to coach. And uh, like I said, he spent some time at Wheeler. But 38 years is a long time. So, Bill Bernard, you will be missed on the high school level in southeastern Connecticut. Yeah, so, Juice is not the only guy. No. In the corner. So, NFA with a little pressure that time. Goose picks it up. Follows it up and it's a six nothing East Lime lead. NFA put a little pressure on East Lime. Broke it right. well the first time too. They seem to be very patient breaking that pressure. You pass the basketball. That's how you beat the pressure. Pass the basketball. Case yet NFA is yet to get off a quality shot. That is correct. You know, a Martin three pointer forced. You know, uh... click, kick out, three pointer, no good. Tipped rebound, we're gonna get a foul yeah. underneath on Pierre Louis as East Lime is doing a great job boxing out and, and keeping possession. <laughs> gonna get Rowan Mundell checked into the ball game. Now you know, he's gonna give Anglin a break. Here's right. what'll be interesting. Does he stay in this? Who picks up Jared Martin, right? Valakis, maybe. Got to get it over the timeline. Patience. Tough, oh. kid. That's no man's land there to pick up your dribble and or just get stuck. You're three feet in front of, get it over the line, gather yourself. Boy, when you see the big line of NFA up, there, up against, it's tough. Francis will inbound for the Wildcats. But in a game like this, Casey, I hear patience. I'm looking at Juicy or I'm looking at Bernardi. Which which coach am I looking They're at? They're both saying the Who same thing. Who are they? Yeah, who are they? What are they yelling? That's uh, an offensive foul. No. Nope. All we're right. gonna get a touch foul on Mundell, and uh, I think though that I think really tough defense puts Jared Martin into dribble mode. Yes. Whenever you play really tough defense, he ends up starting to yeah. pound the basketball. So right now they they've gotten them out of their offensive rhythm. Yeah, Velakis on him now. He's getting his kitchen a little bit. Some guys don't like that in the offensive end. They like the defenders taking up space. Basket, missed shot, great rebounding again. The East Lime with a box numbers. out. Up ahead, Gaeta. Kick out, three ball, Walsh. Got it! Riley Walsh with the triple, and that's the guy Juicy's worried about. Nine, nothing, East Lime. Here comes your one-man show. Offensive foul, and East Lime is juiced. No pun intended. Mm. Foul's going to be on Joe Click on the screen. Outlaw will come back in for him. 
And right now for NFA, who's going to be the who's going to be the calming a presence, but also has the energy? Because it can't be lazy calm, right? It's got to be a calming presence, right. but it's also got to be with some energy. Is this where you find out who your true leader is? Yes, you do. Great ball movement so far from East Lime. There's a dump down into Gata. Puts it to the floor. Kick out. Mundell. That's a little sloppy right there. That ball's going to be on the floor. We're going to get a jump ball possession arrow of NFA. But I like the way East Lime is attacking. You notice that? They try to get the ball to the middle and attack, 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 try to find that crack in the zone. Now, and Gata is a lot more active in this game than he was the first time around. And he's rotating. Right now, Coach Bernardi's rotating guys in. So now Riley Walsh is going to get a break, and Carpenteri's back in the game, and he's going to get um, Anglin's back Velakos too. out for a minute, and he gets Anglin back yeah. in the game. So he's, he's rotating because he wants these guys playing max defense. Martin, pull up, straightaway three, good! J-Mart shopping has begun here at East Lime High School. He gave me a little wink that time too, did you see that? He did. He Dunking knew. on me in the uh, pregame. He knew. Oh! He knew where the sports doctor was. I was right in my kitchen right there. That's a big three, by the way, because it felt like East Lime was up 29-0. Yeah. But really, <laughs> it's, did, a, yeah. it's only a couple possessions. It's a two-bucket right two game, That's yeah. A tough shot by Martin, though. That's, it is the one thing that he has. Another pull-up three. That one's going to be long. But Francis is there for the rebound. And Martin will get fouled by Anglin. He'll go and shoot two. We've criticized, we've criticized, and no, no one more than me has criticized Jared Martin for mm. getting out of the flow of the game and getting a little bit too much, too, trying to do things himself. Sure. The occasional pull-up three, you know, step back in your face, is good. What he did there was the important. hustle. That was important. Oh, the hustle play, the follow. Yeah, yep. because now he's at the line. That's a much more mm -hmm. important play for him. So, you know, for them, for for East Lime to, you're not going to keep him to five points. He's going to score his points. Right. You just got to make him work. Right, for make him every work for one it, of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that time he showed you it worked. Yeah, he came out in the back door, got the rebound, and has a chance to at least get one of these free throws. Second one good. So a little 4-0 run for NFA. To the middle of Gata. Martin with the pick. Oh, what great defense from Anglin. Took a good angle. He was Anglin. Extra pass. He had Carpenter in the corner. Goose baseline. Picks his dribble up. Nice pass. He found Velakos cutting, and Velakos will go to the line. I, I think AJ had the whistle. A little, little late whistle, little yeah, a little late whistle there, yeah. Well, you can't tell where the whistle was. It's another match. Sure. But Velakos will go and shoot, too. I told both these guys before the game, leave your whistles at home. Let these kids play tonight. You know? I don't know about leaving the whistles at well, home. Well, you know. I mean, you mean metaphorically. Sure, both, yes. You want them to actually have whistles. Have whistles, yeah. I know. I mean, it can't Put the whistle in your pocket. But you, That'd well, be a tough transfer. Yeah, they yeah, the they mask, underneath the mask, mask yeah. you know, so. Let him play. Championship game. A new face in the ball game. John Bureau, the sophomore. We didn't see him in the first matchup. So Bureau takes a time on the floor. One of two for Velakis. Chris Juicy says he wants the last shot with 30 seconds remaining. Jeff will coach every possession on the defensive end, doesn't he? Fancy Martin. Oh, what a great look to Pierre-Louis. Now that's the way to play basketball right there. Unselfish. Good job by Martin. Under five seconds, long pass. Bureau swings, Velakis, buzzer shot. No good, we're at the end of one. Four point lead for the Vikings. You're watching Game Day Live. On the data.
We're back, four point lead. And where are you watching tonight? Well, we got a little bit of fan of NFA athletics out there. We're got the crew, got a pizza? Well, you gotta bring the pizza for the sports doctor and me. Go Cats, go Jaden. Everyone loves Team Francis out there in, in NFA land. Four point lead, Coach Juicy's gonna go to the drawing board after a nine nothing lead, settled it down a little bit. And the sports doctor will have Coach Jeff Bernardi. Coach, 10-6 lead after yeah. the first quarter. You guys learned something from the first time around, obviously playing against NFA. Yes. How did that work in the first quarter? Uh, I think our in intensity and our energy is different than, than how we approached the first game. I love how we're playing right now. Our defense is doing a really good job, and our offense is being efficient. Right, good luck, Coach. Thank you. All right, four-point lead, then they have the basketball. And I think you're right. The difference there was the intensity. East Line playing with an energy we did not see the first time. Moving the basketball, there it goes down to Gata. Kick out, swing. That's good ball movement. Carpenteri for three. Good. Chris Carpenteri knocks down a three. There's a bonus three for the Vikings. Good look underneath. Good defense, Pierre. We got closed off. Francis pulls it up and buries it. Well, you would tend to think this game would start to open up here a little bit in the second quarter. 10-6 was pretty tight. Gata pulls up. I think Pierre-Louis got a piece of it. Look at the strong Velakis. rebound by Velakis, and now Martin's going to go the other way. Oh, what a great play. A fabulous play by Will Anglin. Anticipated the spin and took the charge. Yep. Staying home, protect this house, Will Anglin. That's one of those situations where you think Martin might be a little too cute there. Stick your head down and go. No sense to turning your back and going for the uh, 360 spin. Well, Carpentary knocked the three down, Sports Doctor, and that's a bonus three. Tough pass against that zone. Boone finds Pierre-Louis. Great defense by Carpentary, but he got a bit of the hand, and Pierre-Louis will shoot two. That's such a tough pass down here in front of us. You get Francis jumping the passing lane, off to the races, go to Wildcats. And your guy, Max, the quarterback. Mad Max. First one good, lead to four. Now we've talked uh, off the record about player of the year in the league, and you know, you, you like this kid. You know, this year's been tough because we haven't, we've had, we've had a lot of players and everyone's kind of got a, I don't want to say a flaw, but everyone's got something, you know, that where they didn't quite stand out. And right. I will say that, there's no more important player uh, and more unique player than Max Pierre-Louis because he does three things that doesn't, don't show up in stats. Number one is he anchors the most the defense. unique defense yep. in the league. Number two, he plays unbelievable uh, defense and rebounding. Walsh for three. Got it! Riley Walsh, can't, you can't lose him. Oh, no. buries it. And he, re and he rebounds like crazy. So rebounding, defense, uh, you know, and energy are three things, and they don't show up in the stats all the time. So right. it's hard to judge how impactful he is. Blocking foul against Goose, and will get Francis to the line to shoot two. He's an intangible kid. Well, it's not above, and, above and beyond. So I mean, it's not that they're it's intangible, sports doctor, because you can see it. It is a real thing. Right. It's measurable, but it's not the thing we measure. What's the first thing we do when scoring. we look for player of the year? We look for who scored the most yeah, points. Scoring, yeah. Or who you know who maybe who won. Yeah. And, and that's and I mean that's okay, but there's so much more. If you were to ask Chris Juicy, he would say Max is the most unique player in the league that you can't replicate right. what Max does. So I, I mean, I don't know that he's you know, more uh, worthy than his own teammate, Jared Martin, yep. or Marshall Gata, or, you know, pick your poison, but... Checo from uh, St. Bernard's. Yeah, Frankie Pacheco's yeah. a great, a great yeah, yeah, absolutely. Walsh picks his dribble up, finds Gata. Nice cut by Velakis, jump step, hangs, right hand, can't finish, good defense. Martin pulls up for three. Good. J Mart heating up. As well as East Lime has played, they're only up one right now. 
That's backcourt. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a shove, too. I think Riley Walsh should have should have sold it a little bit more. Yeah, now what's got to happen is Walsh has got to make sure he's clear of that sag down a little bit and force NFA back and cross the half-court line. Because you catch a ball walking a tightrope like that, that's trouble. And it was a bit of a push. It's and then he should have gone He should have gone down like he'd been shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you know, oh, I fell, assulted me. But you can't let NBA me. flop. Oh, right? yeah, flop, head, flop. Yeah. Marcus F Smart special right there. That's right. Francis kicks back out to Martin, and Martin will reset the offense for NFA. Loses the ball. Great job, Rowan Mundell. Comes out with it. Sloppy. Martin ends up with it. Kick out to Boone. Boone with a floater. Grover Boone, and how about NFA's got a lead yeah. after being down 9 nothing? Well, all the loose balls and all the hustle plays now go in the area of the Wildcats. The 50-50 balls, they are scrapping. They come up with much better energy to start the second quarter. Yeah, story of two quarters because mm. you know, Coach Bern, uh, Bernardi was right. They, their East Lyme came out with much more intensity uh, than we saw in the first game. And now it's NFA starting to pick up the pace here. Boone. And Martin throws it off a goose. It'll stay NFA ball. Jaden Desilus will check into the ball game for NFA, and he'll give Max a break. Martin left open, thought about it, thought about it again, oh, in, in and out. out. Francis, though, with a rebound, and he's going to go to the line. He'll shoot two. Jaden Francis doing the dirty work for NFA. And again, the 50-50 balls, the, the pressure off the zone. Right now, NFA beating East Line to the punch. Two shots for senior Jaden Francis. NFA's outscored East Line 11-6 start the second quarter. Think about that. They went almost what the first, what five and a half minutes of the game without scoring a bucket, and they got uh, 11 points already here in the second quarter. Carpenteri back in the ball game for East Line. Second one good, two point lead, and you know what? That pressure, this this pressure that NFA has put on, though it's not causing a ton of turnovers is definitely getting East Lime out of its offensive yes. rhythm. And there's That's Boone off to the races. Grover Boone knocks it down, and Jeff Bernardi wants a T.O. That's lazy basketball by East Lime, and Boone jumps all over it and goes coast to coast. Yeah, so that intensity, that crispness that they played with in the first mm -hmm. quarter, starting to sag a little well, bit. Or NFA's NFA starting up. to raise their level up. Yeah. The big so, run, see it out here in the wings. Uh, Francis jumped the passing lane, Boone stepped in front of one, and these kids off to the races when they get a chance. All right, let's take a look at Marcus Outlaw right now, by the way. Yeah, look at that. This, I asked him, I said, Marcus, what is this about? And he said, it's about juice, man. It's his last game. I got to step it up. Oh, uh, he's styling, is he not? I mean, that is, that's pretty good. The jacket really brings it all together. Yeah. So. Everybody taking a step up tonight in honor of that man right there on the right, Chris Juicy. That jacket reminds you, if you won the Masters, you get a green jacket. If you did something great at NFA, you get, the you red get a red jacket. jacket. Yeah, he's, looks like he's royalty, so NFA if you, royalty. If you, if, you, if, you, if you win an ECC championship on your shoulders, you get a red jacket. You get a red jacket. Well, yeah, there you, there you go. go. Yeah. So, sports staff, there's some uh, important questions coming in on YouTube. First of all, thanks to Greg E. for the donation. Um, but... Uh, Blake and Aiden want to know who's getting the sports doctor a sandwich, and would you call it a hoagie or a grinder? Are oh. you a ho hoagie guy or a grinder guy? Sports grinder. Doctor? I'm a grinder guy. Are you kidding first, me? First of all, we're from hoagie. we're from southeastern Connecticut. The home, the creation of the grinder occurred yeah, the right grinder, here in southeastern yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, yeah. So grinder. Hoagie. We're roast not, beef grinder. Swiss cheese. We're not in Philly. Lettuce. No uh, oil only. No no mayonnaise. Yeah. So uh, I'll buy the sandwiches. You guys, let me know where and when. And it, it's going to be a grinder. Absolutely. Yeah. Hoagies. It's like, man, that's, that's like a Pennsylvania thing. <laughs> Grinders originated. We read about something. Despite Bobby Valentine, I think, saying he invented the grinder, which I believe he did <laughs> at one point. V. It was invented, supposedly, in Groton. 
Four-point lead for NFA. Angelos, I remember that. I believe Bobby thinks he invented the rap. Uh, the rap. Okay. He also thinks he invented baseball, and that's not true either. So, just ask him. You're not a fan. No. Oh, okay. Nope, not a fan. Coach the Red Sox. No, he didn't. He was the manager of the Red Sox. <laughs> yeah, he, he was the manager. Li very little coaching. All right, there you go then. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but yeah, he, uh, I found him to be a little bit, uh, a little bit pretentious. Blockus, goose, swing. They're stepping out on Walsh now. They're not going to let him get a loose again. Yeah. Carpenteri, kick out. Nothing there. Great defense by the Vikings. Jimmy by the Wildcats against the Vikings. Martin with the steal. Watch out. Finishes at the rim and NFA turning up the defense. Flex a little muscle. He was dunking over the sports doctor in the pregame. Jared Martin, two at the rim. Yeah, NFA has picked it up big time here in the second quarter. East Lime's getting tired, too. You see him standing around a little bit on offense. Gata spins, floater, great defense by Outlaw. Is this like juncture in the game you got to worry about if you're Jeff Bernardi case, two yes. and a half to go before the half? Yeah, because this can be 10 at halftime like nobody's business. Martin, Francis drives baseline, pulls up, 15-footer, buries it. Oh, he's played well. Tell you what, Jaden Francis can knock yeah, it down. He's played well. He's played well. Played great on a defensive end, knocking shots down. Eight-point lead for the Cats. And yeah, when they get cooking, they feed off this defense, and they let it roll on the offensive end. And now NFA is looking like they're having a hard time scoring the basketball again, like we saw in game one. East Lime, yeah. Yeah, NFA defense yeah. being just uh, too much. Velakos, swing, big three, good! Riley Walsh is the sharpshooter. Trishy says, you can't leave him! He's the guy we talked about, come on! He's got nine. That's a necessary basket for East Lime. Martin with Velakos on him. Boone, floater. Blocked by Goose. And that's a huge defensive stop because yep. then they can't get the pressure going. Down to a minute. Got Gator 101, gotta give him the basketball, let him go to work. Oh, what a pass from Goose to the cutting Velakas and great defense. Recovery defense by Martin. It'll stay East Line ball. That was a great look and an even better defensive play. Yeah, Martin comes off the backside, weak side for help. Swats that in the stands. Click back in the game. Big Joe Click. He is a, talked about this college football type of player. Oh, he's a beast. Oh, what a great look. Anglin finds Goose and back to three. So. A little uh, breathing room well, now for East Lime. They cut what, what looked like could be double digits right. down to a one possession game. Huge two and a half minute juncture. We talked about it and they weathered the storm. For now. Big lineup for NFA right now. Click, Outlow, and Pierre-Louis. Martin, 33 seconds, wants a screen. Oh, good double team, they trap. That's good defense by East Lime right there. Yep. Now Coach Juicy Juicy says, give me the last one. time. Yep, give me the last one. Great defense again. Martin cuts, hangs, floats, and knocks it down. At the buzzer, three-pointer short, tipped, and we're at halftime, 26 21, NFA on top and the sports doctor will talk with NFA head coach Chris Juicy. Sports doctor. Well, Juice, what was the message after the first quarter going into the second quarter with your team? Hey, East Lime, I mean, that guy can coach, right? We know right. that. We know he's one of the best coaches in the in the conference, and uh, those guys want to win. We, we were in this... Last year at the Mohegan Sun, you know, you don't come into a championship game and 
just put it in cruise control. So luckily, you know, we got our feet settled under us and we were able to get some offense off of our defense and now it's a battle. This, you know, East, we had a little bit of a, of a lead and then East Lime battled back and they got to recognize that East Lime's not going away. Walsh ain't going anywhere either out there. And they missed. Good luck, coach. Thanks. Well, we're at halftime, five point lead for NFA. We'll have some fun stuff here at halftime. Come on back, you're watching Game Day Live on theday.com. Okay, class. What do you want to be when you grow up? Jace. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a ballerina. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be homeless. I want to hear scary voices no one else can hear. I want to be addicted to drugs. I want to be an actress. I want to be a YouTuber. Not one child has dreams of these things becoming a reality. Sometimes choices are set before we even have a voice. With Sound Community Services, I found my voice. We're back at halftime, five point lead for NFA here at East Lime. And you know, throughout the year, we asked our fans at home to show us where you were watching the game. You show us your place. And well, here are some of the submissions we got throughout the year. Fitch Falcons. Rest in peace, Rondé Ford. Hey, 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 hey. Wake Forest, right? Oh yeah, college is temporary. Oh, look at that, the, the Saints. Hunter, yeah. The Saints boys. Gallerini crew. Absolutely. Coach Gal. Another, they, love, they love Jaden Francis. Francis, man. They love their Jaden Francis. Coach. Get the squats going, Coach. Yeah, Danny Hines, he's here tonight, <laughs> isn't he? There's Francis. Yeah, number three. Juice. Coach Day. Juice looking like a wayward soul. Squad right there. Ingram. Oh, look at that. Jeez. With the bling, those two yeah. can play a little bit. Yeah. Carried on Cassidy White. Let's go, NFA. Here's Coach doing the squats. Squats for click. Well, uh, what would you give him? Good, good, uh, good form for Coach on those squats, all the way down, knee behind the toe. Listen, getting deep down. All I got to say, look at him, look at me. Look at Joe Click. <laughs> yeah. I'm not telling them how to do their squats. I mean, they're, they're doing just fine. Uh, before we go to our, uh, our our next feature, let's talk for real quick, sports doctor. Uh, coach Juicy said it well, right? That guy can coach, Je yeah. Jeff Bernardi. That team came out with energy. When they matched energy, they were the better team. Yes. So I really, guess, yeah, what, you know. it, just, it just had to come out with the energy. And uh, I think Juice is still alarmed that, that Walsh is knocking down threes. But, you know, you're going to have to pick your poison. But NFA... You know, again, I wanted to ask him, did you panic at 9 nothing? And his, his answer would have been no, of course, of course not, because they got a good team. But um, And with a good team, you, you work it out. But East Line came out for a heavyweight fight. NFA came out for a basketball game and then decided to join the heavyweight fight <laughs> in the second quarter. Well, you know, alongside the sports doctor throughout the years, we've had a lot of, a lot of fun moments. Uh, none more so than last night where we had a little presidential trivia <laughs> which resulted in this. This was the uh, the look last night at Woodstock. And so we asked you out there on Facebook, we said, what's the caption for this picture? And let's take a look at what we got. That's right. This is one of the reasons I don't ref. But yeah. that's, not, that's not what I was thinking right there. Yeah. Can't believe that's you. That's right. That's right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> That, now that's accurate. Today, that is good. Yeah. today I came that was up. You. Yeah, I came up a few times. Oh, short that's today. funny. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yep, that's that's Dave actually Gorman. spot on. Hey, Dave, I, I know Dave, so you know this is really relevant. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Every you're single not time. You're not really a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's two, three things I've two things I've heard more of a game day than anything. Not really a doctor, and you went to Wesleyan. Other than that. I did. <laughs> I'm not a doctor either, by the no. way. Just so you know. 
No, not even close. But uh, a lot of fun with the fans out there. Um, a lot of fun over the last, say, six or seven years with you, Peter, and, and the whole crew. Mikey's not here tonight. But, you know, this has been a, a strange year, challenging year. No kids in the gym. And, you know, I like to feed off the energy. There he is. There's Danny right there. Danny Hines. Got the best seat in the house. He so, does. You know, just to, to, to go along with that thought, sports doctor, I was talking with Juicy before the game, and we were saying, you know, the north-south format, we were talking all that. He said, you know, I, he's like, I hope next year I get to go at the, to the Mohegan Sun and watch this, you know, right. watch the, the what we're used to seeing and all sure. that. But I, I think that start to finish, uh, we heard the girls from Killingly and the girls from NFA say, you know, it, it's been a weird year. Yeah. Uh, so more than anything else, you know, we're just so proud of, of being here. Right. Just like these guys are that are playing the game. Right. And I was talking to a couple of the kids, you know, Marcus and, and Wes Murphy over there before the game. And, you know, I basically said a chip's a chip. doesn't matter if you're here, if you're at the Mohegan Sun, or if you're in the, you know, in the parking lot going five on five. A championship's a championship. And granted under different circumstances this year, but it's still something to put on your mantle. And it's a great accomplishment. All right. We're going to have a very, very wacky year. We're like, going to play sport, Sports Doctor Mad Libs right now. You ready? Yeah. NFA wins this game if blank does blank. <laughs> if East Lime does not shoot the basketball well. All right, that wasn't really what I was going oh, for there. Uh, East Lime wins this game if blank does blank. And don't say if they shoot the basketball well. <laughs> no, um, East Lime wins this game if they rebound and defend. I'll say that NFA wins this game if Jared Martin continues to play like he yeah. did the last five minutes, and East Lime wins this game if Marshall Gaeta finds a way to take it over. There you go. And I don't know if he. I don't know yeah, if he can. Yeah, I don't know if he can. Yeah. You know the way NFA is counter. You know, staying with him, I'm not sure. Five point lead for the Wildcats. They've got the basketball. How about the, the the bench of East Lime chanting defense the entire time yeah. their, their team is on defense? Well, you got to bring the energy somewhere. You, to your home gym, you got to bring it from the bench. Yeah, but you're not going to get it from Sasquatch. No. Or Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So turnover here as the Viking defense creates early one. There's the dump down to Gata. Good hands by Outlaw, forced it. Turnover and right back the other way, turnover. You know, when you're asking Gator to take the game over, you're asking them basically to take on the entire front line of NFA. That's a tall order. Martin, crossover, step back, pump fake and all that for nothing. Francis, baseline, good move. Turn around, fall away. Oh, in and out, rebound, Gata. First three minutes coming out of the uh, gate. The second half important for East Lime. Try to get this game tied up, cut into that lead. They need a basket right here. Yep. This, this, right here, they need a basket. Velakas. Bank shot with the left hand, there you go. and that's the guy right now. I told you before the game, I think he's yep. incredibly important. They have to get offense out of him. Good look, good yeah. step in, descending from four feet with the kiss off the glass. Now if you're East Lime, it's simple, get a stop. Outlow, pump fakes, hangs, Gata blocks it. Carpenteri, up ahead to Gata, one-on-one -on -one with Pierre-Louis, and a block from Max. He is tough, Dikembe-esque-like to shoot the ball over. He is not on my watch. Long and strong, and he is not afraid. He's got great leaps, great timing. Yes, patient with his, you know, with his jump. He's not going to ram you with his body. Walsh, three, short. Outlow goes up and gets it. I see Ryan on the football field next year. That kid going to be dangerous. What positions he play? Nah, tailback, right? <laughs> <laughs> a 
when your tailback's bigger than your left yeah. guard. Five yards in a cloud of dust is 25 yards in pay dirt. I will very much look forward to doing a football game in the fall. Martin, pull up, three, good. Good shot that time by Martin. Tracked his defender and angling down, got him off balance. Good shot from Jared Martin. Tough place to pick up your dribble on the corner. And a timeout, Jeff Bernardi wants a 30 yeah. second timeout. Boy, as soon as Walsh picks his ball up, it's, it's like the sharks in the water and he picks the dribble up, the NFA defenders are on him. 30 second timeout, Jeff Bernardi. So, uh, Sports Doctor, this is important. Now, the great Jack Barkley, right? So, a lot of people know great Jack as a, as a basketball official. Yeah. Uh, if you're old enough, you know him as Baseline Barkley for the, <laughs> from his days as a prolific scorer. He, he chends in, he says, the grinder originated at the New York Fruit Store yeah. on Shaw Street in New London. There you That's go. That's the origin the of the grinder. There you All go. Right. So, Thanks, thank Jack. you, Jack Barkley. Hey, Casey, lean to your left so the people can see Sasquatch. There we go. There he is. There's Sasquatch. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide over a little bit so you can always see Sasquatch <laughs> when I'm on there. <laughs> so thank you to Jack Barkley for our confirmation that, like I said, that the grinder started here. This is probably, uh, I think, the next three minutes. Yep. Are probably uh, as important a stretch as we've seen. You know, six point lead. East Lime answered the bell last time. They cut the lead down to two. Velakis tried to draw contact. Instead, he turned it That's over. Francis again. Played yeah, a good game on a defensive end. And he's played well Hands everywhere, yeah. yeah. He's played well both ends. I'd say, you know, probably the underrated guy on the, on the floor. Yeah, without a doubt. Click working hard against Gaeta. Pierre-Louis for three. Max, that's going out a little far from, the, from his comfort zone. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, before this year's over, sports doctor. I want to knock one down. I want to knock one down. The, why do the big guys always want to yeah, shoot from out to prove juice wrong. The taller you get, the more you want to shoot threes. There's good job, Velakas. Jump stop, pulls up, and we're going to get a block on Joe Click. And Velakis will shoot two. Boy, Velakis has been their most aggressive offensive player here in the second half case. You see a little jump stop and the kiss off the rim. You saw him beat the pressure that time. So Velakis making plays out there. He's a big, strong kid, too. He can, his body can take the pounding at the rim and get himself to the line for a scoring situation. And we talked about uh, a lot of people in East Lyme talked about his physical maturation yeah. in the offseason, how he got big and strong. Uh, well, he just he just crashed into Joe Click. Mm. I mean, that's two big that's two big bodies banging into each other. And Velakis, you know, he's gotten much stronger, upper body. He, right. can get to, he can get to the basket. Big free throw. Five point game. Out low with the rebound. East Lime's gonna hover down four, down three, going into the fourth quarter in this game. If it stretches to seven or eight, they could be in trouble. It's just hard for them to, to climb that big of a deficit. Yeah, not enough scoring. Nice look. Out low. No call. Finish at the rim. He buried Walsh. No call. Walsh says, I want, what happened to that? Dave Cruz on it. Walsh goes three-quarter court. Anglin can't get it to go. Kick out. Walsh, three ball's going to be off the side of the rim and a big rebound by Francis. A little bit of a heave-ho that time from Walsh. Not a pure shot. You know, NFA can push this lead to double digits with a three-point play. Uh, almost a turnover, and then they do. They get the turnover. Goose got a hand on it, Walsh. Now coming the other way, Velakis. And we're gonna get a touch foul from Spruill. One thing I will say, not a lot of fouls, but we do have a mask break here with a seven point lead for NFA. You're watching Game Day, live on the day.com.
to you by Waterford Dental Health. At Waterford Dental Health, our entire team is dedicated to providing you the personalized, convenient, and affordable dental care you and your family deserve. 177 Boston Post Road in Waterford. Waterford Dental Health. No, we have the best seat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have the best seat. <laughs> and I'm not giving that one up. Game day. Let's go, Cats. You know, Jaden has played big tonight. A lot of Jaden Francis yeah. love. A lot of Jaden Francis love out in the played Twitter well. sphere. He has played very well tonight. Seven point deficit. East Lime needs a basket. Yeah, you know that kid right there? He's a senior. He wants to go out in mm -hmm. style. And uh, he's do he has done. Unsung hero. He's done. always been the defensive guy, and he's always been a rebounder. But tonight, stepped up, made play some offensive plays. And, you know, on a different team, he could probably be a scorer. Sure. Balakos, baseline jumper, no good. Look at Anglin get up in the air for the rebound. Will Anglin getting up high. Anglin working on both ends of the floor, defensively on Martin, offensive end, scrapping. Okay. Again, this is one of those junctures, Casey. You talked about it. East line needs a bucket. Got to keep this thing down to three or four points going into the fourth quarter. Can't get yeah. yourself in a situation where you dug yourself too big of a hole because they don't just they don't score in bunches like that. It's seven right now, and seven can become ten like nobody's business. Anglin. Baseline floater, no good. Tipped around. East line will come out of the pack with it. Walsh pulls up, 12-footer, back iron, no He's good. Going. Now Martin comes out of the pack. Walsh is going cold. Oh, Goose had the weak side steal and made the pass into the front court. That ball's right on top of you, Case. Right between the wickets. Juice fired I played up, good too. D. I played good D on that, though. See me get, see me get low? Yeah, yeah, that's what you call it? Well, I'm, 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 I'm born that way, sports doctor. I, I, getting higher up is the problem yeah. these days. I tell everybody, I can dive. I just can't ever get up again. Yeah. A little weave action from NFA. Max picks the dribble up. Francis. A uh, little stutter step, hangs left hand. Good defense by Gator. Francis tried to force that one a little bit. One on three. Finds Walsh. Walsh pump fakes, and we'll get a foul on Francis Sportsman-like. And Walsh, Walsh says, I was, I was shooting. shooting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's That's smiling, NBA, smiling NBA, at the ref. NBA style. Yeah, He's smiling like, at the ref. Yeah, I was shooting. Hey, J1, no part of that. Grover Boone will check back in the game along with Outlaw. Jeff was asking, was he shooting too? Carpenteri back into the ball game for East Line. Look at Boone hounding Velakis. Oh, great defense by Outlaw. Boy, the length of NFA right now giving East Line troubles in the passing lanes. Gata, and look at double team. Velakis, that's up up the rim. That's a nice move. Kept him in the game here in the third quarter. Matt Velakis with some good work at the rim for two. Boone, Max goes baseline. Out low, little jumper, can't get it to go, and a good strong rebound by Velakis. Look at the senior guard go up and get it. Walsh, Walsh drives baseline, floater. Can't no buy good. one. Pierre-Louis with a strong rebound, and he's gonna get fouled with 41 seconds remaining. Walsh can't buy one. He is a tremendous spot-up shooter. Mm. And he is just, you know, they've gotten him out of that rhythm. They've all made, made him either come off screens to try to shoot or, or baseline. I think he's so a little have a tired. Seat. I think he's a little tired. You can get a break. You can sit down. Mundell comes back in. 40 seconds, up five. Well, this is, I mean, here it is right here, right? Yep. Up, up seven, up five, big difference. Oh, there's a steal. Velakis steps in. And it cuts the lead to three. Boy, Huge play by Velakis. What a third quarter for Velakis.
Great defense by Velakis. Click. Boone, short. We're at the end of three. It's a three-point lead. We've got ourselves a ball game. Come on back for fourth quarter action. You're watching Game Day live on the day.com. Okay, class. What do you want to be when you grow up? Jace. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a ballerina. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be homeless. I want to hear scary voices no one else can hear. I want to be addicted to drugs. I want to be an actress. I want to be a YouTuber. Not one child has dreams of these things becoming a reality. Sometimes choices are set before we even have a voice. With Sound Community Services, I found my voice. Three point East Lime lead, excuse me, NFA lead about to start the fourth quarter. Now, we, you know, things come in three, Sports Doctor. We talked about Chris Juicy. This is his last game at NFA. Bill Bernard, his last game at East Lime. Well, there's another person, uh, a big time coach who also announced his retirement. Yeah, Dave Cornish from Legend High School packed it in after 10 years, Casey. And, um, you know, what can you say about Dave's career? Just a tremendous run at Ledger. Um, Dave did a lot for that program. He had Troy with him early, Ralph on the bench, but Dave really, really solidified a winning, winning style at Ledger High School, the ECC championship a few years ago. And you know, Dave will be missed. Dave is one of the characters in this league. Uh, he will be missed. Well, you forget sports, Doctor. I went to high school with him. Sure, he did. Yeah, he's just. <laughs> I've been friends with Dave for a long, long time. Yeah. And I still remember when he left to go to, you know, as Chop's assistant, he left to go to Ledger. That was that sent shockwaves through the sure. ECC because someone left New London and to go take a job. Oh, go and, figure. I mean, yeah. that created that NF, that, that Ledger-New London yep. rivalry, and yep. uh, which led to some of the best games we've had on game day. And um, and Dave, of course, with some of the great color shirts oh, that I great. love so much. He's great, yeah. He's, uh, you know, I'm one of his kids, the, uh, Deontay Bruton, went up to what, Nichols and it was lights out and all world up there. And uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna miss Dave. I, I like Dave, I'm friends with Dave, and uh, I'm gonna miss him on the court, that's for One sure. One of the great New London families, the Cornish family. Uh, and, Dave, and Dave Dave's battled. a good guy. He battled this year. Dave lost his father last year, and he dedicated, the, you know, and I know what that's like, so it's near and dear to my heart. He dedicated this season to his dad, and he uh, made his dad proud of him, I can tell you that. Four point lead for NFA, East Lime with the ball. Walsh finds Gata. Gata to a cutting Velakas. Kick at the left handed, uh, right handed layup to go. That would have been a big bucket right there for the Vikings. Yeah, Velakas is upset with himself because he knew he, he gave up a chippy, a bunny. He could have probably gone up with the left hand. He mm -hmm. went up with his right hand. He switched it up, and I think he just didn't really have the basketball. He carried the Vikings here in the second half. Spruill can't get it to go. Look at Velakis come out of the pack. Up ahead it goes. Gaeta challenges Francis. Can't get the reverse layup to go. They tie up Pierre Louis, however, and we'll get a jump ball. East Lime will have it. So they're going to run Purdue here. Yeah. And I don't think they mean the chicken. No, they're not going to run Ohio State or. Purdue is a uh, dump down to Gaeta. There goes Velakis, pulls up in the lane, can't get it to go. Hmm. That was hanging on the rim. That's back-to-back, -back. must have buckets, missed by Velakis. Martin, step back three, got it! J-Mart shopping, aisle three. Velakis, good oh, defense, pushed. off the knee, turnover, and that lead is seven, and here's danger mm -hmm. time for East Lyme. Okay, you got back-to-back -back scoring opportunities. Velakis missed the layups. Casey could have tied the game up. Martin comes down, hits a big three, and like you said, it's like seven. East Lyme going to bring some pressure down. They put uh, Mundell back in the game. They're going to give Velakis a breather. He's been working hard working. out there. Jeff Bernardi can't be disappointed with the effort of his team, that's for sure. No. Joe Click wanted to shoot the three. Big guys. 
There's a steal. There goes Anglin with Pierre-Louis, and Anglin took the right angle. And he measured up Pierre-Louis that time. Mundell had a chance with a steal with Spruill. Time out. And Chris Giusti is fired up. He wants a he is. substitution. He wants Grover Boone back in the ball game. Can we, Peter, can we can we, can we, we show what hey. I just want to do? Really, right here. All right. Two, uh, two. All right, here we go. This is the ball, game ball. Yeah, I just want to make sure everyone saw the snap pass. Sasquatch likes it. All right. Here we go. Here we, there's the hands on the doctor. Watch the touch. Nothing but net. No, right. he, shot, he shot the basketball. You know that, right? I passed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I passed it. Sports doctor took a shot. Chucker. Thick name, Chucker. Somewhere out there, Mikey Bassetto is saying, I beat both those guys. Not those two, though. No. Coach, Coach Juicy's Juicy. daughter and niece. Very nice. Nanawak. Uh -huh. right, we, we were up that way. At Jeden. You know what? Last game of his high school career, and, and for those of you out there who uh, are supporting Jaden Francis, you know, Sports Doctor and I have talked about it. That, that young man, that young man on this team is probably uh, unsung a little bit. You know, he's he's overlooked a little bit because you've got the the flair of Martin yeah. and yeah. You know, Pierre Louis and yeah. Joe, Joe Click. But uh, <laughs> Jaden Francis has played a great game, and he's and every game we've done for NFA this year, uh, he's made plays, uh, defense, rebounding. I, the, more more than a glue guy. Yeah, he's a difference maker. No, he he's is a difference yeah. maker out here in today's game. He's He's flying around. He's working hard, and again, he, you know the other players get the sexy limelight. But you know he's a, he's a tremendous high school basketball. Yeah, player. I think I said earlier in the year that if he plays well, this team is really tough to beat. You really very because, tough to beat because you know you're going to get yeah. stuff from the other guys, and so he's really done that. Five point lead for the Wildcats, and a turnover. Anglin did a nice job with Martin on his hip. Careful there, gotta go back to the basketball. Go help your teammate out. So no Velakis right now, Mundell runs the point. See where they get the basket from. You get the sense that every possession oh. right now is big for East Lime. Look at the job Francis did, he ripped it away from Gata. Gata went to spin and mm. Francis was there. You get the sense that every single trip down is important for East Lime? Yes. Every trip. Pierre-Louis pulls up, and the bank is open. Mon ami. Every trip down, under five to go. Important for East Lime. Anglin, great defense for Martin. Watch Two out. on one, ahead of the pack. Basket is good, and the foul. And Jared Martin is fired up as the Wildcats jump out by nine. That's 19 from Martin to lead the way for the Wildcats, Casey, and just like that, they can push this lead to double digits. Jared Martin making a case for himself for a couple of different mm -hmm. accolades here tonight. Knock it down for his 20th point and a double digit lead. And of course, a lane violation. Lane violation on Carpenteri, and that'll give Martin another chance. This right here is like the, when you miss the five-footer and you get a second chance yeah. at it. <laughs> One more for Jared Martin. That time he knocks it down, so there's the 20th point for Martin and the 10-point lead. And Martin fired up, playing a little defense now, too. Job, Velakis back into the ball game. Drives baseline, hangs, left-handed off the bank is good. And that's fired up too. Take that at the rim for number 13. He's played well tonight. Yeah, he's tremendous basketball game. This is winning time now, under four in the fourth quarter. Bounce pass to Martin. 
Martin stripped. And we're going to get an offensive oh, foul. That's good help defense by East Lime. Gator came in, tried to strip. You know, and then stepping in that time was Riley Walsh to take the charge. And that's, that is textbook help defense. We're going to get a mask break with an eight-point lead for NFA. Come on back for the last 352. You're watching Game Day Live on theday.com. The Day strives to cover stories our readers care about. With a feature called Curious CT, we make it easier for you to tell us what you want to know about the people, places, and issues in Southeastern Connecticut. You submit a question, readers vote, and we investigate and report. Go to theday.com slash CuriousCT for more details. You ask, you vote, we investigate. Game day is brought to you by Waterford Dental Health. Great smiles start here at Waterford Dental Health. You know, right now, Casey East Lime down eight, and the only reason why they're down this little is because Matt Malakas has all nine of his points here in the second half. He's carried a team and missed a few shots at the rim. So, listen, you gotta have a bucket and a stop, a bucket and a stop, and that's the recipe right now for East Lime here on out. Yeah, Coach Juicy was showing the officials exactly what he was seeing there, coaching it up, his dad, giving us a little let him know. Well, he's at home watching his son right now in his final high school game at NFA. Papa Juicy. And we got a foul as Gato went up strong, and so he's gonna go to the line and shoot two. That's a set play off the, off the timeout, off the mass break by Jeff Bernardi. Gato comes up at the high post, turn and catch, gets himself to the free throw line. Five team fouls for NFA, three for East Lime. So think about that, when if East Lime's in a foul situation, they still have four to give. It's been a really, really well-officiated ball game tonight, too. Yeah, it has. I agree with that. Gata, second one, is good. And, you know, it's it's down to six. Mm. This is where you gotta, this is where you gotta go possession by possession. Yeah. East Lime needs a stop, and then they need a basket. Gator right up on Pierre Louis. Boone back underneath. And oh, I don't think Carpenteri saw it. I think he thought it was tipped because he didn't go after it. And he's, well, he's mad at himself. Tough place for Boone to get out of control with his body and no really no real place to deliver the goods there, too. Yep, Sproul. He's will coming come right in. out there. That's a tough. He put himself in a tough position there, and coach go talk it over with him. Click will come back in the ball game as well. Sproul with Walsh on him. Francis, they're running a little weave, takes some time off the clock. NFA just burning clock right now. Dump down to Click. Strong move. Look at little Joe Click wow. get to the basket. Big time move that time. The seal. The body to turn the left. Joe Click. Look at Martin. Great hustle and a turnover. Great work by Jared Martin. Coach Juicy, both hands up. Patience. Let's slow things down. Rule all the way, finds Click, loses the basketball, and Walsh comes out of the pack. And a ill-advised pass by Walsh, but it's gonna be, East Lime gets a break, and it goes off of Pierre-Louis. Click gave him some good minutes. Allo comes back into the game. Click was, when has Joe Click not been productive when we've seen him in a game this year? Never. No, we saw his coming out party against Fitch, and he's been mm. pretty much a staple of this lineup since then. Turnover. Vikings can't afford to do that nope. down eight. And you gotta start thinking about fouling too, because you've still got four fouls to give before NFA is shooting. Nobody in any kind of foul trouble, so get the double team and if not foul. Yep. 
Wall, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta take a chance here too and try to double team instead. Look at the floater. Jaden Francis finishes. A delay of game warning on Jared Martin. It's a little delay, delay game, game on Martin. Jared Martin and coaches don't even touch it. Yes. Ten point lead here, Case. Yes. And there's a oh dangerous pass. Walsh picks his dribble up. Goose, spin, hang. Great defense. And Velakis is there. And a timeout with Jeff Bernardi. He down now eight. He wants to set it up with 134 remaining. Well, you're gonna have to go for the sellout now. Double team, if you do not get the steal on the initial double team, you have to foul. You'll still have four more fouls to give before NFA's in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So sell out before they beat you on the back end, you gotta, you gotta start hacking. <laughs> you know what, you did get a good seat. That's a good spot right there. <laughs> Go Vikes, let the goose loose. I, I hear you, I hear you, we, we got the goose. He's running the floor for the Vikings. They need a little help though right now. Matt Velakis has sure provided the help here in the second half. He's played huge for Jeff Bernardi and Bill Bernard, my guy over there. And Chris Juicy talking to his team and saying, hey listen, make them come get us. We don't have to force anything right now. We got the lead, just don't turn the basketball over. Take care of the rock. So, you know, we talked about the last game, Coach Ju you know, Coach Schuster's career here at NFA. You know, Coach Bernardi paid homage to him with the with the outfit. So did Marcus Outlaw. Marcus Outlaw on the team that got Juicy his first, yeah, first ECC championship. championship. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're we're an unbiased group here, but from a storyline perspective, pretty good. It may not be bad to go out, you know, back bookend state championships. I mean, uh, with Marcus by your side. With Marcus by your side. Yeah. East Lime trying to put some pressure on. There goes Francis, and we're going to get a touch foul away from the basket, so that'll add to the... Four team fouls against East Lime. Right now, NFA just wants to try to take as much time off the clock as they can before they force to the line. Oh, that's a great move right there by Spruill. And there's the foul away from the basket. But that was a great job by Spruill. He gave a little hesitation, which allowed some space. Mm -hmm. And they burned seven seconds off. And right now, seven seconds he's, is he's, great. He's a, it's a big chunk of the clock is what it it's is. It's an eternity right now if you're East Lyme. You can't afford to give up seven seconds. So, you know, before... Before this whole possession started, Jeff Bernardi went and talked to both the officials and basically told them, we're going to foul on we every We want touch. you to call the tippy-tack. We want you to call it a tippy-tack, yeah. We don't turn this into something ugly where we're going to grab somebody. That's right. This that, is what our intentions are. I so, think that's a good coaching move. It is. Just to let these guys know, you know. And a veteran official like Dave Cruz. He heard him. He, he, yeah. he knows. He's he knows. like, yeah, I know that's what they need to do. Five-second call. Five yes. seconds. Vikings get the ball. So Walsh will come back in with Goose. They're gonna try to play a little offense defense with Coach Bernardi. Eight point game. Why does Walsh have another three pointer left in his legs? Velakis get himself to the rim. Gotta move. More importantly, how much time can you take for possession right here? Not much. You gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. It's too much time. Velakis underneath the Gata. And oh, he almost made the circus basket, but instead he'll go to the line and shoot two. They gotta call that on the floor. All right, so he won't go to the line and shoot two. It should be one on one. No. Nope. Or was that the, that was the sixth foul? That was the sixth, okay, I'm sorry. Both teams will shoot one on one with the next foul. Again, too much possession. Dump down. Gata has position. Basket is good over Outlow, and the foul right at the minute mark cuts the lead to six. Well, that was Marshall Gata's best move of the game. Come down, get it down low, turn and face the hoop in the arm. 
and from Marshall at, Gator, the senior. And look at Coach Bernardi playing offense, defense. Mundell comes sure. in with Bureau. They're going to yeah. play the defense. You know why? They got fouls to give. That's just right. So he wants to get Walsh and Goose off the floor that's because right. he doesn't want them to get the fouls. What a, you know, that's, that's, he's coaching. He's, he is he's, coaching to the end. Let's go. It's got to be quick. Right now, if his energy was what they played with, they'd still be in this thing. Oh, backside steal. Did they get the timeout in time? He did. Oh, no. Slid across. They're going to be. NFA Jeff ball. Jeff could get out there hit the floor himself, couldn't he? Oh, they were so close to having the steal. Go, oh, great job. Breaking it. Oh, and there's a turnover. Weak side, Carpenteri. Falak is coming the other direction. No foul. Ball tipped. Martin comes down with it. A big turn of events in sequence here. Foul on Martin. He'll go to the line. Now, maybe I'm a little old school sports doctor. Yes. Maybe I'm a little old school. Yeah, but they are. Five different players have done something in this game and then turned to talk to us. Yeah, what's the deal? Is that a reflection of the modern? Marcus Outlaw is getting cheeky with me. The I'm, modern I'm sorry, Ryan Outlaw is getting cheeky with me. Yeah. Hey, it's, is this the modern athlete? Because yeah. I'm like, folk, I want to say, focus on the game. Uh, you focus on the game. J-Mart's turning around. Outlaw's giving us the business. What's going on over here? Martin knocked the first one down. This can make more. it a three-possession game. That one's in, yeah. in, out, and in. Shooter's touch. Both ends of the rim goes up, comes back down through. The problem right now with a seven-point deficit for East Lyme is they don't score fast right. enough. And it's a smart move. Look at NFA putting the pressure on. Yeah. Eat up all the clock you can. There goes Walsh. They got away with a walk there. Tipped and tipped again. Gata's going to rip it down. We're going to get a jump ball, possession arrow, NFA. Twenty-two points for Jared Martin tonight. Yeah, he's had a big game. And East Lyme has had some chances. Just haven't been able to get the big play here. Francis, and he'll be fouled away from the basket by Anglin. So eighth team foul, so still one on one. Jaden Francis will go to the line. The senior. And five fouls on. Anglin is fouled out. Will Anglin played well, but the junior will be back next year to play East Line basketball. And according to Coach Bernardi, they, they've got a bunch. They got a bunch of good players coming up next yeah. year. East Line yeah. should be good again. NFA will, you know, have to re have to reboot as they lose Francis and Spruill and Benoit and Martin and Click. And you know, they're gonna lose a bunch, but you know. Cupboard's not going to be bare with Outlaw no. and Pierre Louis and Grover Boone, and they'll be back. Francis misses that one, no good. Carpenteri. Now Velakis has to push the other direction. Velakis pulls up and can't get it to go. Look at Walsh, weak side, pump fake, foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two with 20 seconds remaining. Boy, both these coaches have. Gotten every single nickel out of their jacket and tie tonight. I can tell you that. They have been. Jeff Bernardi has worked. Chris Juicy has worked. Jeff Bernardi has played fabulous defense. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Riley Walsh will shoot two. Coach into the end. Walsh is tired. Walsh is tired. You can see it yep, there in the tired. He's, yeah, he's tired. A lot of energy they've got exerted tired tonight. Tired in the third quarter. His shot got very flat from the three-point line. Looked more of a shove than it was a shot. Second one is good. Lead is six. So one more foul for East Lyon will keep NFA in a one and one. After that, that's a double bonus. Little handoff to Martin. They double team and they foul him. 19 seconds remaining, and he'll go to the line to shoot one and one. 
I think I've called Ryan Outlaw Marcus 17 times today, so I do apologize. Now, do you want he the gets it. do you want the good news yes. or the bad news? Yes. The good news is, I think they forgive you. They like yeah, you. The most, right? sure, yeah. The bad news is, freshman guard number 22, Justin Outlaw, <laughs> which means there's going to be four more years oh, for you to call some other one, Marcus. Marcus. Yeah. Martin knocks that one down. And if he makes I got some this grace. One. I've got some grace over there at the NFA people, though, so I can. It's all right. We'll see. And when Juice is gone, though, you yeah, know, new it could regime, be a different story. Yeah. They might say, "Sports doctor, I've had a bone to pick. I've had a bone to pick with you for a while now." Eight-point lead, blocked by Pierre Louis. Just under 13 seconds remaining. Thirteen seconds away from a fitting ECC championship to end the career of NFA coach Chris Chusty at, at NFA. Look at Vlock. Where's that been? Vlock is knocking down, down a town. three. Cuts it to five with six seconds remaining. Coach Bernardi's well, coaching to the end. Yeah, he is. He is, and uh, and rightfully so. But uh, listen, this is could be bookends for for Chris Giusti, and um, you know I'm, I'm, I don't ever play favorites, but I'm really happy for him. He's done a a great job at NFA, you know, in the last eight or nine years here. So, and, and again, you, you hate to bring up the point, but Marcus Hollow was with him as a player yeah. in his first championship, and now he's on the bench as a yeah. coach in this one. So, y you know, there's a lot of tradition over there. Listen, you know, we've talked about a lot of great coaches tonight, and we you know. Over the course of the years, we've had a chance to interact with so many great ones, and you know where there's there's I go back a long way with people like Dave Cornish and Chop Parker. Sure. And, you know I've I've only gotten to know you know Jeff Bernardi. Bill and, Bassett. You know, you know right over the past few years, but they're they're unbelievable yeah. guys. You know Chris Giusti is has been, I would say that after his initial uh, <laughs> his initial game day experiences. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no one has been more supportive of game day than Fantastic. Chris Giusti. Fantastic. You see Jeff talking to the refs over there. I don't think that East Line is. Is gonna foul here. You gonna let it run Maybe. out? Maybe. Uh. Oh, looks like they're gonna play solid D. It's two possessions yeah. still. I guess you have to, right? Look out for a touchdown. Touchdown to Pierre Louis, and just waste the time right now. And he does three, two, one. Congratulations! Congratulations, Chris Giusti. And the NFA Wildcats, you are the 2021 ECC South champions. For Chris Giusti, the bookends. His first year as NFA coach, he was a champion. His last year at NFA is a champion. And that says it all. Sports Doctor. The Sports Doctor has NFA coach Chris Chusty and the champion Wildcats. Sports Doctor. Well, Coach, bookends in a coaching career. Your first year as a head coach, you win this tournament, and this year with, with COVID, you win it again on the way out the door. First of all, talk about what it took to win this game against a real tough East Lime team. It took everything, just like it did last year, just like it does every year. These guys gave me everything. I love you guys. Yeah. Juice, if you could first talk about this season, how different it was in many seasons like we had, you know, with, with COVID, the classroom, everything, keeping your guys together for these last few months. That, that's all from Neil Curl and, you know, we built, I, I lost my cool a little bit, you know, saying, you know, we got to, we play for NFA. We, we don't play for the individual. We play for the letters on the front. And I know that's what every coach preaches, but Neil preached it to, to this guy and, and to that guy, you know, and it says it's not about me on the back of the jersey. And, and that, that's what they believe in now. And, and that's what they'll become. You guys are the Cats family now. Our, our, our water for dental health player of the game is Jared Martin with 24 points. Well, listen. What I want to bring the whole team over here, and I want to stay right here, Coach. Jared, talk about the play of your teammates, because you guys all work together as a machine out there. Talk about the cohesion you guys have on the floor. I mean, they worked with us all year. We've been grinding. 
a little ups and downs, but we came tonight and we played. That's all that matters. Right. Now, is this different, Coach? Not in the Mohegan Sun. Obviously, we're in East Lime High School, but we talked to Marcus about this before the game. A championship's a championship. Absolutely. Mm. And I talked to Coach Bernardi, who's, you know, he's a terrific coach. I said it at halftime. One of the best coaches that, you know, I hope East Lime understands what they have here in him. Um, but, but we were talking in, in the beginning of the game that you know, nobody's – watching this game except for the, the loyal viewers of the day.com thank you everyone um this was the last high school game of the season guys we were the last championship there's no other high school games after this one uh, coach you talked about you preached this too new curl and passing the torch through you and your teachings you know obviously the guy over a couple guys behind us the guys in your staff you know wes and, and marcus again who helped you win your first championship as a player you know i say do you feel like you've done enough work here to pass the torch and the program in good hands? Absolutely, and you know, I was just watching. That's, I, I always said that to my friend Peter Camp, who's the principal of Unka School. I was just watching over what Neil built. And, um, and, and look at this guy. Look at, look at this guy. <laughs> this is style. Hey, man. This is style. <laughs> hey, listen, Coach, congratulations. We love you on game day. Hey, NFA is in the house, aren't they? Yeah! yeah. The Waterford Dental Health player of the game is Jared Martin, the NFA Wildcats, your 2021 champions of the ECC South, to Chris Giusti, a championship on the way out, just like the championship he had in his first year, and the respect that Chris Giusti has for Neil Curland, the respect that he has for Jeff Bernardi, uh, the love that he has for his players, uh, I mean, I, that just it speaks volumes. When you talk about what coaches can do to influence kids, the lesson tonight is not about basketball. No, the no. lesson tonight is Look the respect and, and humility that Chris Giusti has that he shows, and when he's teaching his kids anything, he's teaching them lessons far beyond basketball. I cannot say enough good wishes to Chris Giusti. And Jared Martin talked about ups and downs, too. He sat out for a game. He was suspended. Coach's decision, do not play suspension, whatever you call it. But, you know, that's your star player. And they won that game without him. And I think that that was a message that was sent that no one player is bigger than the team. Yeah, the NFA season gelled when they gritted out a win at Fitch the night we saw the coming out of Little Joe Click. <laughs> and on the bus after the game, Chris Giusti said that, you know, this team – rallied around each other that night. Jared Martin came back into the fold. Mm. They got things on the same page. With him, they are a whole level above. He's a great player. They right. got they you know, they're a great team. Sure. And and you know, I've been saying all year I thought they were the best team in the league. Yep, well they proved uh, it. And they are. They're yeah. the best team in the league. Yeah. I mean you're talking about a team that came off of a twenty three and 0 season last year. And, and slide it out a chance for playing for the state championship. Finish this year at 10-3 and three with three losses by how many? Eight points. Eight points. Eight so. points. <laughs> well, listen, I thought this was a tremendous basketball game tonight. It played on a very high level by both teams. I thought the game was excellently officiated. Um, I thought it was a good, clean basketball game, a tough game, which you yeah. want a championship game case. And uh, kudos to both schools. It's a fitting end to, a, to a, a wonderful basketball season that we're all very fortunate to get in. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, shout out to Jeff Bernardi and the East Lime Vikings Classic. for putting on a, uh, you know, a great game. They, they played inspired basketball. They played so hard tonight. They're such a reflection of him, and, and he is a – uh, you know, fabulous coach. And, you know, of course, Chris Giusti says, I hope they know what they have in him. I think they do. Yeah. I think they know yep. what they have in him. Yep. Uh, we want to say all the love in the world to uh, Bill Bernard, retiring uh, East Lime's yep. assistant coach. Uh, you know, we've talked about Chris Giusti, Dave Cornish. Dave Cornish, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the end of a basketball season. Uh, it's the end of some careers in coaching. Uh, for us on game day, it's not the end. We'll be back in the, in the spring. spring. Uh, we're going to bring you some baseball. We're going to bring you some softball. And, we're going to bring you some lacrosse, you know, whatever we can do. You'll be a scratch uh, golfer we'll be by there. I, you know, I'll be, I scratch myself all the time when I play <laughs> golf. I usually go, how did I miss that shot? Right. Uh, you know, we love what we do. We'll be happy to be out in the spring. Uh, take a, we're just going to take a second to say, uh, you know, thank you to all the, the coaches. I'm a special thanks. I'm going to say to Jimmy Bunicor, who I think did a, a, just a remarkable job with the ECC this year. Uh, all the athletic directors, principals, and, and, and coaches who are able to get these kids safely yeah. back onto the floor uh, and give them a season. 
Uh, you know, I think it's really important to, to, to just take a second and thank your, your, your educators uh, for, for helping to get out. And then on our things, you know. How about the, how about the in-house guys? How about Eric and, and Peter and the camera people? And these guys have been traveling. To, you know, we, I think we logged 763 miles the last four days in Woodstock, the Killingly. Oh, that, was just a, that was just a Woodstock event. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, but um, these, you know, these, these, everybody in this, in this crew works very, very hard. Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to finish individually. And so there's, you know. There's our man, Eric. Eric Strand, yeah. He's the... Uh, Frank over there on the camera. Yeah, there you go, Frank. Carlo, there's Carlos. Carlos. Yeah, there he is, our he man, is. Carlos. Yeah. Carlos, lost Peter, I don't... Step. You can't... And... Gotta show, we got to show... Peter. There's our there's man. Peter, yeah. There's so, Peter. you know, Mike tomorrow at home texting us throughout the entire thing. Um, you know, I, he, he'll be embarrassed that I said it, but I don't care. Uh, I wake up every day wondering when, when you know, someone's going to... I mean, lure our Peter Wappy away from us. Sure. Uh, we can't do any of this stuff without him and the production. That, uh, there is no finer production in the uh, anywhere than what we do, and that's a testament to Peter. So, uh, Doctor, it I'll has been a spring. pleasure. I'll see you in the spring. See you on the links before then, too. For everybody in the game day family and to the champion NFA Wildcats, we say good night, everybody.